So Brianna has a, an assignment to do for school that involves her going to a cemetery. What exactly is the assignment? I have to collect demography data, uh, birth and death dates from the 1800s. Video Aren't birth. all of the like graves above ground here? Yes. So that's different. That's uh, kind of cool. So they're not actually graves. They're tombs, I think. So explain uh, uh, why that is. Why are they above ground? Because we're below sea level, and if we tried to put them below ground, it wouldn't work because there's water. There's three around here. So we're trying to find out if this is if we're at the right cemetery. We just have to make sure we go to the right one because it has to be. It has to have graves as old as 1800, and not all of them. Do. Okay. Um, I gotta tell you though, just driving up here, uh, Bree is just. You know, this is normal to her, but I was looking at it, and it's quite, it, it, it catches your attention. It's really unusual, because it's a large one. It's really big. Uh, yeah, do you know why they put fences around cemeteries? Because people are just dying to get in. <laughs> your dad must have told you that joke. <laughs> yeah, my dad told me that joke. He says it every time we drive past the cemetery. So you have to be find people who were born in the 1840s and the 1880s for purposes of this homework assignment. Yes. Okay. Oh look, they have like little guards that you can go in. Look at this, you can like walk around. Is this legal? Can you do this? I feel like I'm kind of trespassing. I love how you ask if it's legal while you're just doing it. <laughs> This is a really weird thing though. It must be much more expensive to be buried to here, don't you think? Do you think it's more expensive to be buried here? Or probably, especially a really old one like this. But I mean I just like the actual still... you've got to buy one of these things, like it's not just digging a hole in the ground. Yeah, but this isn't one person either. It's okay. a family plot. I see. You know, I kind of just realized one of the real challenging things about this homework assignment is that when you're looking for people who were born in the 1840s and 1880s, the the engraving on the on the inscriptions is like kind of faded out over time, you know. So it's kind of hard to read them. See, for example, look at this. I mean, it's there. You just have to. It's just so much to look for. This one is 1819. Died in 1819. Well, 1849. Oh, that's 1849. Born or died? Died. I need born. Darn it! I know, I keep doing it too. <sighs> so frustrating. Born 1825. You're getting so excited. I know, okay. We'll get it, we just started. It looks like either, it looks like there was like once one of these tombs here, and now they're gone. So, how does, what What do they do with it? Bree just had an interesting hypothesis, because we are in New Orleans, and you know, Katrina, a few years ago, flooded the entire city as most of you will know. And there could have been some serious damage to a lot of these. So. We've been here 20 minutes and we found our first one. Has it been 20 minutes? Something like that, yeah. This person, Sarah Randolph, is my new hero. She was born in 1845. I can now claim my first uh, find. I found these, born in the 1840s. Although I haven't been seeing any in the 1880s. Were yours 1880s or 1840s? Uh, one, I got one 1840 and two 1880s. So. Oh, okay, good. Unlike a lot of the cemeteries that I've seen, like in the South, in, in the United States, because I actually do go to cemeteries, I enjoy them for some weird reason. But I'm noticing that a lot of the people who were born like in the 1800s in this, in this part of the world seem to be from Europe, which is kind of interesting. Something interesting. I, it just, I don't know what's so strange about this to me, but when you see like tombstones that have, you know, obviously been messed with, probably like we said from Katrina. Okay, so that probably goes there. And we have found our final born in the 1840s one. So we've got all of them right here. Good work, very exciting. Yeah. This was a, you know, I mean, at first I was thinking this was a rather busy homework assignment. Like, I couldn't really understand the point of it, but I'm also not taking your class in fairness, but it wasn't that bad. All right, so we finished, we're on our way home now. But that was pretty good, I, I really enjoyed that. It was, it was good. And it went quickly, uh, and I think I won, I found more names, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, she, she definitely won.